It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to create horizontal water in 3JS. This process is great for horizontal planes and may not work for other shapes and orientations. This is due to how the 3JS water object uses map to give it that reflective water-like appearance. We will need these tools to get the job done. A 3D editor. I will use Blender for the demonstration. A code editor is also required. I will use Visual Studio. Studio code. This free 3D model of a beach from Sketchfab will also be used, as well as the water normals image from the 3JS GitHub page. We also need the 3JS water object project available on GitHub and a package manager like Node Package Manager to install any necessary libraries like 3JS. I've provided the links below for the project, assets, and tools used here. With our tools ready, we can start setting up. First, download the 3D model from Sketchfab, then open Blender and delete anything in the workspace. Import the 3D model. Next, we can create a plane. Let's name it Water Plane with a capital W and a capital P. The name will be important later and it will be case sensitive. Now, let's add the camera, then position that where we want it in our scene. Lastly, apply all the transforms to the plane. If we don't apply our changes, the water might not look right in 3JS. Okay, with that set up, let's export our scene. When exporting, check the box to include the camera. After exporting, I recommend going to 3js.org forward slash editor and importing the files there. Here you can see what it looks like when imported to 3JS and make any changes before getting into code. When satisfied, export the scene as a GLTF. Next, let's download the water normals image from the 3JS GitHub page. A link to this is available in the description. This image is important to give the water the right look when interacting with light. Let's download the code from GitHub. After extracting, open it in a code editor. If you're following along, make sure to copy the scene and image files to somewhere the project can see. The expected path for the scene can be found in mainview.js in the scene path variable. The expected path for the water normals image can be found in waterhelper.js in the water normals path variable. Once checked, open a terminal window and navigate to the folder that includes the file package.json. Then Run a command to install the dependencies. With Node Package Manager, this would be npm install. Once completed, open mainview.js. This file sets up the scene that will be viewed in the browser. It loads the GLTF and sets the camera to the first camera it finds in that file. It also adds some ambient light to the scene and sets the background color. Here's where the water is made. We create a variable to hold the water objects. This will work for one or many water plants objects. The replace planes with water method will take all the planes in the scene with a certain name and replace them with planes that look like water. Replace planes with water is an asynchronous method. This happens because some of the steps to load textures takes time and with an asynchronous method some other code might continue before it finishes its processing and we don't want to work with the water list until the method has completed. That is why we add the word await before calling the method. Now let's open waterhelper.js. The replace planes with water method here has a few steps. It finds all the objects with the name water plane. This is done in the find water plane method. It goes through the scene and looks for objects with a specific name and adds them to a list. Then for each water plane found, it will create water from the plane's geometry. This is done by creating a bounding box and getting the dimensions 
surface of the plane. Afterwards, it creates a new plane from that geometry. And then we load the water normals image. The water options can be adjusted to your liking. Changing the texture size will shrink and stretch the rippled look of the water. The water's normal map is set to the texture we loaded. The water's color and color of the sun can be changed too. Then we create the water object. We use the geometry we set er earlier to make sure the water is the same size as our plane. And then we add the options that we set up above. We adjust the object's rotation by 90 degrees or pi over 2. The water object's surface is vertical by default. This step is necessary to make it appear horizontal. Then the position of the plane is copied. This should set the water to appear much like the plane. The water object is returned in the resolve step. The water object is added to a list of all water objects. The plane used to create the water is removed from the scene so that they don't end up overlapped. And the water is added to the scene. This continues until all water plane objects are removed. A list of all water objects is then returned back to mainview.js. Now, we have our static water placed in the scene. There's one more step to make it come alive. During the animate function, we check if the water list is defined and has objects in it. For each water object, we will run the animate water function. In animate water, we can see this time value increased each frame. This will constantly change the appearance of the water. Now, time to run the program. In a terminal window, run the following command. npm run start dash dev. Two command prompt windows should open. This project uses a JavaScript tool called Webpack. It takes an extra moment to prepare, and the file's output might run faster when placed on a server. Open a web browser and go to localhost colon 3000. And look at that. Together, we have successfully created horizontal water in 3JS. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day, and thank you for attending class outside.